Yes, you are welcome to today's math class. But before I move on, I want to let you guys know that please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Now, looking at this logarithmic equation, how do you solve for the value of x? First, let's write the equation out again. We have the natural log of 2x divided by the natural log of x equals the natural log of 2. Now, looking at this, we can simplify this by using the logarithmic property. We see that. So let's consider this. The natural log of a plus the natural log of b equals the natural log of a b. So this is what the logarithmic property states. Now, writing this in this form is going to be the natural log of 2 plus the natural log of x divided by the natural log of x equals the natural log of 2. So here now you are going to cross multiply. When you cross multiply, you are going to have the natural log of 2 plus the natural log of x is equal to the natural log of 2 multiplied by the natural log of x. Now, let's take this to this side that is collecting like things. Therefore, we are going to have the natural log of 2 equals the natural log of 2 multiplied by the natural log of x minus the natural log of x. So when you now look at this, our right hand side, right, you can see that the natural log of x is a common factor. So what we are going to do here now is factor it out. We have the natural log of 2 equals, we factor it out, we have the natural log of x into brackets. The natural log of 2 minus 1, right? Now let's continue here. We have the natural log of 2 equals the natural log of x into bracket the natural log of 2 minus 1. So dividing both sides by the natural log of 2, we have the natural log of 2 minus 1 here divided by the natural log of 2 minus 1. So this cancel out each other, right? We are left with the natural log of 2 divided by the natural log of 2 minus 1 into bracket equals the natural log of s. Now, to eliminate this natural log, you are going to raise both sides. You are going to raise, uh, take the year of both sides. So, now, taking the year of both sides, you are going to have e raised to the power of the natural log of 2 divided by the natural log of 2 minus 1 into bracket equals e raised to the power of the natural log of x. Now, this is going to eliminate the natural log and you are going to have the value of x to be equals e raised to the power of the natural log of 2 divided by the natural log of 2 minus 1. So let's now input this in our calculator to find the approximate value of x. So when you do so, you are going to have the approximate value of x to be 0 0.104466. So after doing the final answer now, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I'll join this one too.